YouTube. How you guys doing? Happy New Year. Um, I know it's been a while that I jumped on here and broadcast it. Been doing a lot of research myself. I'm consuming a lot of content, watching other content creators and people that are doing something similar to what I'm doing. And um, as I've said in my previous videos, I want to continue to uh, add value um, in this in this manosphere, as it's called, uh, as well as the world, and, and be a part of the conversations um, to combine um, multiple perspectives and things of that nature. Um, I pray that everyone is, you know, doing their best to, you know, stay together and bond through, you know, this you know worldwide pandemic. Um, we're going into a new year, so I hope to see some advancement on things. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to jump on here and just talk about my, I guess, my goal moving forward. Uh, not only this year, but the years to come. Um, I've, I've been struggling on what it is that I wanted my theme to particularly be when it came to my show. You know, so I talk about collective things, you know, or relationships, perspective, being your best self, self-love, you know, current issues, you know, social issues, things of that nature. And that is all going to be a collective. It'll be like a jambalaya of, of, of information. However, I wanted to focus more on, you know, the theme and, 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 the, and the place of where I want to put my energy. And I think that with all the conversations I've had um, with all of the content I've absorbed, with the content that I've researched as well as viewed, what I find is that there's a common theme of things where we're talking about specifically in the space that is relationships, you know, the male versus female, female versus male, you know, the, the gender war that is <laughs> consistently seem to constantly revisit and resurface, take re, uh, reshape itself. I think that we as people need to really start to have what I would consider a different point of view and start to factor in, um, other aspects so what i'm gonna start doing a lot more of is focusing on things to consider and that's gonna be like my my focal point my my theme you know as as i would like to call it uh things to consider you know when i have conversations with individuals on uh, whether it be male or female uh especially in regards to perspective and how to you know, maybe look at something or consider other things. It's 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 very interesting that there is a common theme to where most individuals that I've I've had the privilege of talking to, and then as I you know utilize this tool called the internet, and I listen to other people have their gripes or complaints or perspective or things that are contrasting others' opinion. It seems that they don't have they're not considering the other side and so for whatever reason i've always been kind of objective in my in my in my process i've always been a person who will take something and try to look at it from multiple angles um, what has afforded me perspective has been uh, world travel i started traveling the world at 13 14 years old i believe my first country was europe um and then after that i took you know a short amount of time to um, utilize the military, uh, the Navy, and spent a few more years traveling. So it was nice to gain a perspective because I spent a significant amount of time in different regions of the world, interacting with different cultures, and I gathered a lot of different perspective. What I find sometimes is that not everyone is privileged to do some of those things. Not everyone takes the opportunities, nor do they take the initiative to put themselves in a position to develop a perspective, a different perspective. Um, in my opinion, you know, anyone who knows me will hear me say that I believe people live their life in a 10 mile radius, um, whether that be physically and whether that be mentally. So what do you mean by that, Daniel? So sometimes someone can grow up in a general area. And what happens is that even as they're, they transition in their life, they graduate uh, high school, they graduate college and they maybe get married, maybe they don't, maybe they journey out in life individually. It, it seems to me that they like to attach or revisit 
the same neighborhood that they grew up in or the general area that they grew up in. And then they start to formulate, bond, and build relationships the same way. Uh, associations, friendships, as well as romantic relationships. Found that to be very interesting. Human behavior is uh, fascinating to me. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. And I think that that does most people a disservice, uh, my opinion, that as individuals, we are multifaceted in our in our in our how would I put it in our genealogy we as people require a lot more than one thing so it's, it's just as simple as even trying to understand how the human body works you know it's not a combination if you just ate good food but you didn't get good sleep um, the body won't balance itself if you just got great sleep but ate crappy food the body won't balance itself and so as individuals we have to understand that our mind is, you know, encompassed in our body. Um, it requires stimuli. It requires a certain level of um, pressure. And what do you mean by pressure, Daniel? I mean to have a have a mindset, to have an outlook is fair. Everyone has an opinion. I've heard people say, you know, uh, an opinion is like an asshole. Everyone has one, <laughs> and this is true. Um, however, I feel that as individuals and that people who are listening to the sound of my voice, um, you're individuals who take pride in navigating your own life. You're individuals who want to take charge and control your own destiny. And, uh, and I applaud that. I support that. But in order to do that, it does require um, a certain level of focus, a, a certain level of understanding that your perspective on things have to be challenge has to be put up against other aspects of an outlook um, some people will say your network is your net worth uh, I'm inclined to agree with that I think that the what you consume what you uh, focus on what you practice what you pretty much place your attention on will be pivotal and key in what you as an individual develop mentally it, it's it's not rocket science in that sense um, you know most people I would say um, probably did not gain muscle without some level of focus or some level of discipline you don't wake up out the bed one day um, ripped and shredded like it required a certain level of focus it required a certain level of um, consistency and so it's the same thing so I wanted to jump on today and just kind of talk about, you know, that on, on a note that I, my goal for those who don't know me and are continuing to get to know me is that I really want to see people win. I really want to see people happy. Um, happiness to me is not um, from a tangible basis. Um, anyone who understands, at least in my opinion, anyone who understands true happiness understands that it comes from an internal part of you it comes from a place that is not tangible it comes from a place that is not external because anything that happens outside is not going to maintain uh, the aura that is happiness it, it doesn't work that way so happiness is a mindset happiness is a lifestyle happiness is a choice you as an individual choose to be happy and once that choice and you commit to that choice then you make decisions based on continuing to fulfill that commitment to self. Um, so that's one of my goals. Another one of my goals is to empower, hopefully empower uh, young men, um, men of all sorts, uh, young black men, um, really feed knowledge into the culture, um, as well as women. I feel that a lot of things cannot be done nor fulfilled until we as people collectively start to really work together you know everyone has their own difference of opinion everyone has their outlook on how things should go or would go and, and the reality is it's really just where you want your life to end up you know if you want to be rich that's going to require a certain amount of discipline hard work focus um innovation and and and, and constantly feeding and hustling to get to the common goal. Uh, if you want to be married, that's going to require same discipline, work, uh, working on self. You know, 
If you suck at communication, maybe you want to take a class. If you, you know, are not the most fit individual, maybe you need to work out. Um, if you are an introvert, maybe you need to put yourself in a position to try to expand upon your natural state. You know, if you're an introverted individual, then that means that you're going to have to apply effort into putting yourself in positions to, to, for people to see you, to expose yourself to individuals um, in order to meet someone. Because it's not just going to happen. Uh, things don't just happen by osmosis. Um, it requires some effort and some, some energy. And so anyway, I just wanted to jump on today, uh, reintroduce myself to the world. My name is Daniel Rucker. This is my channel, True Table. Um, I will be bringing you guys content on a more regular basis uh, as I've been a person to understand and realize that in order to do this and to do it right, I'm going to have to be committed to continuing to give you guys what I feel is necessary content, um, quality content to see you guys grow um, for me to just share and, and, and to hopefully help, hopefully help and see people's lives change. So, um, this is Daniel Rucker on True Table. Um, when you get a chance, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, don't be shy. Go ahead and share my videos. Uh, I have a few that I've done over the course of 2020. And like I said, 2021, I'm coming. So, get used to this face. This one right here. <laughs> get used to this. Because uh, I'll be popping up all over. Um, this is Daniel Rucker with True Table signing out. Thank you.